Jared Poland Fronos Photo.com. And this is your Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by Data Color, who's celebrating 50 years of innovating color excellence. If my math is correct, that means they were founded in 1970. All right. In recognition of their 50th anniversary, Data Color is offering the Spider X Photo Kit, which normally sells for $400 for only $199 while supplies last. In the kit, you will find the Spider X Elite Spider Cube and Spider Checker 24, which has saved my ass many times in the studio. And oh yeah, and it comes in this fancy case. For more information and to pick up this kit, head on over to datacolor.com slash Pro. First up, let's start off this week the same way that we've started the last three, by making fun of Canada. You guys are dick. Oh, no? Okay, sorry. Uh, no, by updating you on the latest news concerning Kodak's frozen $765 million loan and now an ongoing SEC investigation. This week's Kodak update starts off with numerous class action lawsuits. The lawsuit is seeking to defend shareholders who purchased or otherwise acquired Kodak securities between July 27th, 2020 and August 7th, 2020. For those of you who have been stuck in a dark room the last few weeks with no connection to the outside world, how long does this take? Kodak was awarded a massive federal loan and the loan has since been put on hold as questions of insider trading looms. And here we are with numerous class action lawsuits being filed. With so many law firms jumping on the bandwagon and deciding to file suit, it makes me wonder if Leica just released something new and these lawyers need some extra cash to feed their overpriced, overrated camera addiction. Sick burn. If you're looking to review one of the class action lawsuits, I will leave a link to it down below, or you can contact Peretz Bronstein Esquire or his investor relations analyst, Yale Hurwitz of Bronstein, Gerwitz, and Grossman LLC, or as I like to remember them, the first five of the conga line for my bar mitzvah. On top of the class action lawsuit, White House trade advisor Peter Navarro had this to say about Kodak on CNBC's Squawk Box. What happened at Kodak was, was probably the dumbest decisions made by executives in corporate history. He then added, you can't fix stupid. And you can't right. even anticipate uh, that degree of stupidity. And just who do you work for, baby? I mean, what's that? Phone call? Hello? Oh, don't, don't say it, but the joke writes itself. Fine, Stephen, I won't. A representative for Kodak declined to comment, and I wonder why. And their stock continued to tank another nine plus percent, and this story will continue to evolve, and I will continue to bring you updates. Please don't. Next up, could Panasonic be preparing to release another camera in their S lineup? According to Nokashita, which to the best of my knowledge is actually a cat. Meow. Yeah. The answer is, Yes, Nokashita went on to post what seems to be the full leak specs for a potential S5, a full frame, affordable entry level mirrorless camera that might render the GH5 useless. Yes, I said it. Don't bitch at me, you micro four third tiny sensor loving people. The truth is tiny sensors suck and micro four thirds is as done as these dishes. <laughs> Done, man. Nonetheless, here's a quick rundown of the leak specs. The S5 might have a 24.2 megapixel sensor with five axis in-body stabilization, a very angle touchscreen, dual native ISO, and weigh in at just 714 grams, opposed to 1,021 of the S1. Other rumor specs point to it being able to shoot 4K at 60p in 10-bit 420 and 4K 30p in 422 10-bit and use contrast-based DFD autofocus. Oh, I almost forgot to remind you that it's part of some alliance thing that starts with an L or something. Oh wait, is that the same thing as the L Mount Alliance? <laughs> Why yes, yes it is. And you thought that I wouldn't do it? So do these rumor specs turn you on at all? Schwing. Or do you not care about Panasonic? Let me know down below. 
And finally, after years of sucking, and when I say sucking, they really did suck, though they actually don't suck, I'm just saying that for effect, Canon is number one according to Nikkei Asian Review's data gathering arm. My arm! In the first full year since Nikon and Canon released their full frame mirrorless systems, this data will give us a more clear picture of how the big three are doing in the market. According to Nikkei, Canon saw the biggest jump in overall market share by gaining 2.5%, giving them 45.5%. Sony, on the other hand, saw a 0.9% jump to 20.2%, which is a major deal since this is the first time that they've passed Nikon, who lost 1.6% down to 18.6%. Last year, Nikon saw a much larger drop of 2.7%, so maybe they're riding that ship that was sinking. Or maybe they're still sinking and they're just going to do it slower. We're gonna make you, trust me. Coming in in the fourth spot and losing 0.4% is Fuji, who has 4.7% of the market. And rounding out the top five is Panasonic, who did not lose or gain any share, and they surpassed Olympus with 4.7% share as well. Wait, so Fuji is fourth with 4.7% and Panasonic is fifth with the same 4.7% even though Fuji is on a downswing and Panasonic is even? Hey Dan, please go ahead and move Panasonic to fourth and Fuji to fifth for me. Thank you. You're welcome. You know who's not on this list? Canada. No, no, wait, wait. Uh, uh, Kodak. Really? No, actually, Pentax. Oh, sick burn. Pentax not on the list. Now this is amazing news for the industry, right? Well, not exactly, because camera unit sales dropped by 22.4%, which is similar to the number in 2018, and I can only assume that they will fall even further off a cliff when we see the final numbers for 2020. But hey, 14.8 million units were still sold, so that ain't bad. Then again, I'm going to guess that only 6.5 million units will sell in 2020. I'll never let go. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. Jared Polin, Photo.com. See ya.